Is that you getting your drinks ordered or sorted before you yeah. come in yeah. here? Yeah. Bottle of fizzy water. <laughs> uh, football can be a very, very cruel game and uh, that's certainly the, the case today. I mean, what are the boys feeling like this? Uh, a bit deflated, a bit deflated. I thought uh, it is. It tells you what football is. Uh, we were better today than we were last week and won 4 0 last week. Mm. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so they're a bit gutted down there. The effort they put in is always there, and we get that every time from them. But um, we we'll let ourselves down defensively today with defending set pieces, which is which is annoying because we do a bit of work on that, uh, but we didn't do it well today. So, But yeah, just got to get on with it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I suppose that. The you, you can take a lot from the character that the boys showed to be 2-0 two, two down and come back to, to get to 2 No doubt, and I, and I thought we're in ascendancy at 2-0. Two, two yeah. So if anybody's going to go and win it, it'll be us. So we, we, we still would pause it, pushed on, uh, and we actually give the ball away. We're in possession of the ball, safe possession, when we give the, the third goal away. It's a corner and we don't defend the corner well, but but some of the performances, again, was, was excellent. And the energy and pace were, uh, was was outstanding. Uh, and if we get that, we're fine. Yeah. We're fine. If we just tidy that wee bit up about our set pieces, uh, and we'll work on that uh, in the next week or so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, Blair, Blair wasn't down on the team sheet to begin with today. I mean, would you just want to give him a rest or was your plan to no, maybe no. bring him in? No, no, he, know, was, he... Uh, he hadn't trained this week. He had flu, so he wasn't there on Tuesday. He came in Thursday, did a little bit, but had to go back inside. Couldn't manage, so that was the reason. Yeah. Because um, the way he's been playing and Graham on the other side, uh, I thought he'd be the real threat today. But I thought uh, young Sean done very well again, yeah. uh, and he's turning to be a, uh, a useful player for us. Yeah, doing great. I mean, uh, does does it make any difference this week having Christmas Day in there? Does it affect the training? How the boys prepare for next week? Uh, if, we'll train on on Monday, uh, and then we'll give the guys. We usually train on Thursday, but we'll give them that off. It's Boxing Day, and they'll be back in Friday morning, the guys that can train. So we'll get as much done as we can this week, but uh, trust them. They'll go away and they'll enjoy themselves. Uh, but we'll, we'll come back and work hard on the, the Friday morning uh, and get ready for a, a, another massive game for us on Saturday. Yeah. I suppose after the likes of today, what you want is to just get back back on the horse and, and have another game. Oh, certainly. And, and a derby. Great, 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 uh, great yeah, thing to have. Yeah, no doubt about that. As I say, we're, if we can get that level of performance from now to the, in the second half of the season, we'll be fine. Uh, as I say, to, to come back from 2 0 down against the league, the title favourites, and, and I think they'll go on uh, possibly to win the league. I think if anybody finishes above Falkirk, uh, they'll be doing well. If they ever finish yeah. above Falkirk, I think they'll win the league. So um, I think they're, they're probably worthy title favourites after playing them and them and Wraith Rovers in the last few weeks. Uh, they're a strong side and had a few players missing today. But uh, that's not our concern. Our concern now is to go, and, to go and get these next two games are massive for us with, with four for these five. I mean, it just shows you how far we've come that we're actually gutted, <laughs> and I mean gutted about losing a Fall Cup today. Yeah, I think it's hard for us all to take when you're when you, you get back in the game like that, and then to lose one in the last minutes. It's uh, we've all been there when we've won it in the last minute, so yeah. you just got to take it on the chin when when you lose it in the last minute. Uh, and as I say, we'll pick the boys. We'll get picked up Monday, no problem at all, uh, and we'll get. We'll get ready for the for the coming up the two games. Coming Swings up. and roundabouts. Yeah. And what what's your plans for Christmas thing? Uh, probably just um, a couple of drinks. I'll go along to my brother for for Christmas. That'll be fine. Very good. Spend that with the family. Have a great time. Whatever we'll it is do. you end up doing. We'll do. We had a wee draw earlier on today um, for. Uh, a big hamper which was in the shop and the winning number was number 92 and Blair Ruxton is the winner. Oh, yeah. Yes, a big round of applause for Blair. <laughs> Blair, just, just to let you know Blair, you've got, you've got a real friend in Kat. Kat was like, oh Blair! <laughs> There's a sign strip in there Blair. I dare you to put it on and send us in a wee photograph. See how that's what we normally do at hospitality. I'll be looking forward to that. Can you plan that round and give yeah. it a round of applause on yeah. the section? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs>
Yeah. Anyway, standard achievement for a, a, absolutely brilliant. For those who don't know, that's our under 16s team, and uh, they won the league uh, for us this year. A fantastic achievement for the boys. Right, okay, Paul. Same to you. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Anyway, this year, have a great night and a wonderful Christmas.